but we can just identify things from the start. So when you start the next game, you're good. So I think I actually looked at this the other day. The problem with this game right here, this six. Yeah, the problem with your last game, that was a six. You three star Nocturne, which three star on a one cost typically is bad. Now, if you're going to do yeah, it, it's... yeah, it's typically bad. There's only a couple of champs that that's worth. Twitch. Twitch is one. And when you do a reroll Twitch, he's not strong enough just himself. So as you're rerolling for him, you'd be rerolling at like level five, which is like your best chance for like one cost. Because once you level to six, it significantly lowers the chances of getting one cost. So you just reroll at 50 gold. Like you roll down to 50 gold every round to find just, you just buy all one cost pretty much. So all the one cost that synergizes with them. So he's a chem tech. So you would, try to three star singed you would try to three star uh zillion and camille and ezreal because twitch with three innovator is really strong like you play three innovator three chem tech and then if you ever get really? to love yeah just because chem uh innovators in general is a really good front line oh, okay. um yeah and then it's like extra little character yeah and since since singe is a chem tech he's is it innovator? Yeah, so it's, it's easy to slot in three innos. And then you just play three three innos, three chip tech. It's just kind of, that's just the best synergies to like fit in together at level six. Let's say you do three star Nocturne for whatever reason. Like, let's say the game gives you, because Nocturne, two star Nocturne early game is really strong, especially with some items on them. For whatever reason, you just three star them. You just want to put. Thieves glove. Oh, it's a Thieves Glove? Okay, that makes sense. You put a bunch of AP items on Swain. Which is okay, tier IE on Sivir. So like your items are just kind of spread apart. Early game, you just slam all your you just slam a good item on Nocturne in the beginning of the game, and then if you three star Nocturne, you just itemize them all the way. So you put three items on them. So I'm pretty much saying if Nocturne is your carry early game, and you're gonna three star him, then he's your carry late game, and then when you play Nocturne and you put a bunch of items on him. You're going to want to play your augments and your team all around Nocturne. So you want to play like at least two assassin three or four assassin. Your, your, your board should always complement whoever has your attack items and whoever has your defensive items. So if you have like a two star Lowy early game, you should definitely like put in bruisers and put on, put on items that like make sense with your like your um tank so if, if swain you so you put a bunch of items on swain so if a swain is going to be a carry like if this is like the guy like all right he's going to do all my damage and he's my tank put a bunch of arcanus because he's an arcanus hex tech so you obviously have a ha at least two hex tech maybe four but you also want to put a bunch of yeah, I think I had six. yeah but then you also want to put a bunch of um arcanus because swain is really because oh, okay. he's an arcanus so you need to put at least two arcanus in to like buff him and two arcanus buffs your whole team once you get four arcanus and more arcanus then it buffs your arcanus like by double so if you ever go f so two arcanus is something you can easily slot in just to buff your team up if you're playing like ap and it makes your team it makes whoever has your items that much stronger like you just gotta you gotta just decide what you're doing like whatever you hit early and whatever items you slam like the first pretty much the first item you slam in the game is what you're playing so you can either hold off on slamming or you slam and you just you have to just commit now you can slam an item that multiple champions can use that's like a flexible thing but like once you slam ie like you're not playing like a ap comp like you're not you're playing a, you're playing an ad comp and so in there if you slam an AD item, you're narrowing all your options you can play by half. And then, which is still a good amount. And then the more items you slam and the more and the more champs you buy. So every champ you hold is like costing you gold. So if you're holding a bunch of hex champs and you slam IE, then you're like, all right, <clears throat> you're most likely going to play like some type of four hex tech, six hex tech. And like best case scenario, you play Sivir with three items. Yeah, Sivir is really strong. I like Sivir. So like... Again, you have three star Swain with only two items, unfortunately. So, like I said, if you're gonna three star Swain, you better itemize them like as much as possible and early. Itemize them early because <clears throat> if you're gonna play a one cost, two cost, 
and you're going to play them past stage three, they need to be fully optimized. Otherwise, they're not, they're just going to get outscaled. Or, you know, if I was in your place and I got a three star Sejuani, I would just like get a shit ton of tank items and just make them like the biggest tank possible. Like and then, instead of putting them on Alistar there, putting them on Sedge. Yeah, yeah, don't put items on. Once you, if you're going to do this, like this three star shit, then you don't care about Alistar. Like, gotcha. you're, play, you're playing a reroll re comp, so four cost carries aren't like your priority. Now, if you just play two stars, well, we're going to teach you the right way how to play the game. Because not saying reroll is bad. I don't play rerolls. I know how to play rerolls. And yeah, I, I can... like getting level threes. Yeah. I can reroll like a shit comp up until like diamond. Like the, probably the dumbest comp. It, the And I can just get top fours. Like you, I won't get any first place, but I'll get a bunch of top fours. And I'll just teach you the right way to play. For this next game that we do and then you can pretty much go from there because i can already tell your gold sucks like you're some of these games are like level six level seven or you're or you're hitting like like this game you got eighth two star warwick two star singe two star twitch and everybody else is one starred so like yeah. that just means you're not rolling enough or you're rolling too much and not like i don't know what it is but your gold is just bad so go ahead and queue one up we're going to play what I call is tempo, in which you just play strongest board. You save all your gold. You never roll. And once you get to level 8, you play a bunch of 4 costs. And you pretty much can go straight to plat just by playing that. Hello, it's Isaiah from the future. I'm editing the video right now. And I just wanted to say that in case I rubbed anybody the run away, I really do mean I could have played a shit comp and still a top 4 silver, gold, and plat up into a diamond because the difference between the reason plat players and under don't rank up into a diamond and up is because it's just a lot of bad fundamentals um a lot of people aren't playing strong boards and as long as you play something that is strong early to mid game you don't really need to play a good late game comp or any meta comps because you're typically gonna win out just by health alone so that's really what i mean and I was telling him I wanted to play tempo with four cost carries, but we ended up playing a twitch carry anyways, just because he got a, like a really really good start to it, or a twitch reroll comp. So if you want to learn how to play a twitch reroll comp and um play it kind of flexibly, so no matter what you always kind of top four, no matter what items or what you hit, then this would be the video for you. So without further ado. Here's the video. The thing that's about reroll is that if you know what you're rerolling, like if you're playing reroll Twitch, the thing about that is that if you get a good start to it, pretty much from iron to challenger, it can guarantee you a top four. Like you might not get a first place, but at least it'll get you a top four if you hit it really well. And you just pray that the rest of the lobby didn't like high roll and they don't hit like really strong comps. Oh, is you there got. Anything I know about the first bit right here? Nah, you play whatever you feel comfortable, man. A lot of players who get bowed Twitch right here would just like force Twitch reroll. Which we could no, do that I if like you want to if you want to learn how to play rerolls, I would teach you how to play. Dude, take this professor off and delete it. <laughs> just uninstall it. It's so bad. You're not gonna I don't yeah, I'm pretty sure it makes you I worse. Mostly, I mostly use it for the item combos oh okay well i think that's the only thing until you I learn don't... if you don't learn if you don't know the item combos yet then i, I guess that makes sense that's probably the only thing to be good but i'd rather use blitz okay so yeah grab the two singes this is a good start so we just play reroll twitch two bows is good you can also play talon with two bows because best item on talon is rfc but uh let's just focus on I twitch gold here grab a not if you get assets. yeah you just grab the whole shop if you get gold it'll be three gold and if you get gold on one minions round you're not going to get gold for any other minions round because you're guaranteed three item components or six gold um play um so i like tiny titans but not at the beginning because then i never get the yeah, you're not gonna get an item prior. You're not gonna you're gonna like get fucked. So just play rich get richer. 
Because if you're going to reroll, Clear Mind is not a reroll augment. Because you can't hold any units. But this way is fine. Because this way you're going to have a lot of gold, Should I guess. Buy any of these? Yeah, buy four one costs. Because we don't really just no take yeah take out Sindra buy four one costs. So you just buy your board if you have the gold. Huh? So yeah, you just, just buy all the cards if you have the gold. Yeah, if it um if you can't make twenty gold here, or if you didn't get rich get richer, if you can't make ten gold, just buy the shop. Cause um, making interest early game is way more important than holding units. Like even if it's a good unit. Um, buy Ezreal, and then make twenty gold. So you gotta buy all the you gotta yeah buy the Ezreal and then so sell. sell yeah, so wait, don't sell Echo. Can sell you still? GP, yeah, can you still make twenty? Yeah, sell. Oh yeah, you can still make twenty. Okay, keep the Echo and keep the Ezreal. That's actually perfect. Cause you definitely want twenty gold. You're you're trying to get to yeah. seventy gold. Oh uh, well, That's typically. <laughs> Yeah, typically you're trying to get 50 gold. Yeah, because you can lose every game stage 2 and still go first. Like, that's how... It, like, it does not matter. As long... If you're going to lose, though, you better lose. Like, don't just... Don't randomly win some. And don't... Don't roll. Or level. Like, just lose and gain money. That way, when you go 3-2, you're going to be, like, insanely stronger than everybody. Um... Yeah, hopefully we get 30 gold. Probably why not. Why grab Ezreal, by the way? Why, you said why buy Ezreal? Yeah. Oh, for the <coughs> innovator? Yeah, so if you're going to play a one-star reroll, you want to... Uh, I mean, a three-star, like, one cost. You want to um three-star as many units as possible. That will... That will... So grab Caitlyn. Yeah, you can grab the Caitlyn's. You're not going to play Caitlyn's in this comp. So if you're going to play Twitch reroll... The best way of winning is three innovators and three chemtech. So, um, yeah, buying the assassin is good. But, um, or, you know, <coughs> in stage two, you just play, like, the strongest units you can put in. But, um, by three, two, you kind of, well, we're going to be at level five, like, the whole game, so. Until we three star everybody, but yeah, when you three star Ezreal, that's less one cost in the pool, which makes it faster to get uh Twitch three. You know what I mean? Sell yeah, the two yeah, um Kate's Caitlyn, so you can get thirty gold, and then um put in Ezreal over Talon. That way, look at that: three innovators, two assassin, two scrap. Ooh. That's better than just three assassins. Yeah, man. Innovator is kind of OP. Yeah, it's kind of OP. Yeah, it's kind of OP. No, it is. It's the best. Innovators is the best um comp in the game. You can just play Innovators every game and just climb to infinite. But it's also since it's the best, everybody plays it, so it's kind of contested. But people can contest it, so win. So. Look how you're 30 gold and your opponent's 10 gold. And you won. <laughs> so, so you're, being 20 gold over somebody is like, it's like being two levels over somebody in, um, in league. You know what I mean? Like, if you're 10 gold over somebody, you're a level over them. If you're 20 gold over them, you're two levels over them. Like, what it's a, Zillion? oh, glove, 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 glove. Or sword. Uh, Sword's good too. Sword? Yeah, so you want as many crit items for. So if you play assassins, IE is the best item on assassins. Um, All right. So, like, read what assassins ed does. Uh, their abilities already critically strike. Um, oh, and they gain bonus critical strike damage. And yeah, and chance. IE is just massive. Yeah. And then, if do you know what IE does in. In TFT, uh, no. so it gives them, I think, a hundred percent crit chance or seventy-five percent crit chance, and then each point above a hundred percent, it's extra damage. And with assassins, you get well above uh, over a hundred percent. 
So should I sell one of my guys to get forty? Uh, yes. The uh, talons. Ezreal or Singe? No, 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 no. Talons, talons. Sell the talons. Oh, both. Yeah, yeah, and just buy those one costs. You're not gonna play these. You're just taking them out the pool. You're 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 trying to three star. Oh, okay. Your entire yeah, switch. yeah, exactly. Because you're not gonna play Talon. You already got Echo, and that's your. Gotcha. <clears throat> you got three innovators. You got two assassins, and now you're two out of three camp tech. So when you go five, you're trying to find a third camp tech. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or or um. Or you can play Camille. Uh, you don't want to combine that. The uh, buy the two Camilles. And then sell the other people that you're not going to play. <clears throat> sell these three? Yeah, yeah. Now, look at your board. Every single person on this board is who you're trying to three-star. That's your goal. Really? Okay. Singe. Twitch is your main guy, so he's going to have your items. By the way, we have four items. If you have three or more items... No, if you have four or more items, you, you want to slam something. So... Okay. I would say the best item to slam right now is Giant Slayer. The reason is Giant Slayer is a very good item. So you can just put the sword on him now or when he comes back alive next round. The reason I say that is because the best items on uh, on Twitch. Last Whisper better? Yes, but we don't have a glove. So and you, you want to use the glove for Infendia, so yeah. you have to get a lot of Mm -hmm. But the, I'm just, I'm saying even if you slam, um, Giant Slayer, yeah, by the Warwick, even if you slam Giant Slayer, you can still get Last Whisper and IE. Like you still have a bow and a sword left. You know what I mean? So you just or slam. Wait till after Krugs though, just to see. Nah, just slam now. Doesn't matter. Okay. We still have another bow. And then, um, I level up right now, or am I waiting for? Nah, seconds? we do not level up. Actually, roll down to fifty-two, and see who you hit. Nothing. One more. One Ezreal. That's good. And then you can... Uh, don't pick up the orb. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. Sell the Cassid and, and the brand. Because that, that orb is white, so you might get units. So now you can pick it up. You don't... Because if, you, if your board's full, um, it would just turn into gold. See? And then you can sell That's those. Not hella yeah. Um, sell the Darius's. So this is perfect. Now, roll down as much, and just buy everything. Just roll down to zero, really, to be honest. I don't want to save the 70, though, because my first one. Mm, actually, yeah, we'll probably play that. I mean, just because we're, we're 80 health, this is kind of low elo. We can greed. It's it's actually really greedy to do that, but... Don't sell! No! We're three-starring Camille! Why Camille? We're three star in Camille. Wait, We're... why Camille though? She's not part of either of those. <clears throat> okay, so if we ever go eight, it's five. Your final board is going to be two Clockwork, two Challenger, with, and she oh, has okay. both of those. Yeah, because that wouldn't like Zillion be a Clockwork though. Mm-hmm. Plus the innovator. Oh, so you're counting him as. Yeah, well. you're counting him. When you go eight, you're gonna have Zillion, Camille, and. Um, Warwick, and then if you that that would be your level seven board, and when you go eight, you get Seraphine in for five innovators, and then okay. Do I then, buy any of this? Uh, you don't have to. You can just roll down to seventy two, yeah, and just buy every unit that flat pretty much glows. You can also buy zillions if you get them. Here you go. The, don't don't well actually, yeah, don't roll. You're going to get a free refresh anyways, and if you roll and there's, like, two units you need, you're going to get under 70. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you just... The, don't the, go yeah, don't... No, no need to greed. You're going to get a free refresh anyways, and if your next shop has, like, three Twitches, you're going to have enough gold to buy it all. So, this guy is... It's like a lot more brain power into three-star and low-level cost than I thought. Oh, yeah. But once you learn it, like... It's like, like it's easy, but you still need to like play the game. It's it's not just press yeah. D. But yeah, this is pretty much what rerolling is. Is that 
essentially you just roll down to 50 gold um what do you think before you pick it um i would say either weak spot or verdant okay verdant is okay but verdant i, really I feel like it's pretty bad too much, right? yeah. so um weak so weak spot or double trouble is pretty good double trouble is actually like the best augment in the game <laughs> like really? un unironically yeah so i think we is have... it, extremely good but if you make last yeah. whisper i think double trouble is going to give you more value so just play right. double trouble because i actually want to just see what you play it <laughs> weak spot okay. is definitely not a bad move there. yep reroll reroll you can press d to refresh if it helps you and then you can just put your cursor over the like the people yep there's it And then the Zill. 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 By Zill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, if you ever need space on your board, just sell the two costs. The two, um, two costs. Even if they're not level two yet? Yeah. Don't just sell, just sell them. Okay. I, I was, I would definitely, like, want Warwick three star over zillion three star i think i think that's the prio like the prio is three star twitch so if you're ever going to sell people on your board obviously twitch is holding your items so okay we want glove if you can get it okay we got it perfect don't accidentally hit anybody then yeah and it's a four cost so you're getting four gold and a glove which is as good as it gets and I then usually i usually try to go rage blade on twitch Nah. Okay, not full that. 80. Just full 80. Uh, if you look at his stats, if you see any champ with stats like him, that just um, that just does pure AD damage and his skills with AD, like he just deals straight physical damage, um, that stuff is not going to really help. Uh, just slam. Okay, yeah. Just keep rolling. I sell Jin, right? Yeah. And IE on Twitch? Yeah, IE. IE is first. I mean, last whisper. You can argue last whisper is first too. Like, it, last whisper is just as important as IE, to be honest. But IE gives you more damage. You're just gonna get stuck on tanks until you get last whisper. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well. Yeah. If you don't have last whisper, you, you're not gonna kill very many tanks. And the fact that we have one star twitch is a little unfortunate. But. So we're I'm. I'm We're going still gonna put Last Whisper on Twitch, even though I have Giant Slayer. Oh, I mean Giant Slayer doesn't. Um, similar, right? No, nah, it's not the same. Oh. It's not the same. Okay, we're at. We hit under fifty gold. You're rolling down to zero. Does that make sense? Or roll down 50? at least. Roll down at least thirty. Yeah. Sell the or. Don't even worry about buying Zillion. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's a two cost. If it's a one cost that you can't fit, then you gotta sell the two costs. Yeah. Sell Warwick. Yep, and Zillion. Or sell Zillion first. Both of them, both of them. Both. And then get both of those and keep rolling. You're getting really unlucky. We're rolling down to thirty. Keep rolling. Oh, uh, so just keep rolling. You have no one to sell. Oh, oh you can click it. It's it's worry. three starred. Yep. So like if it's two of them and they can combine, you can just click on one of them and it will automatically combine. So we got oh. I know, but not it's it's just this is actually like super low roll actually. But like the way you're saving money is the best way to do it though. Yeah. Oh, I think <clears> I win this though. Go. Yeah, but like yeah, you gotta absolutely fucking send it though, cause you can't afford to lose more health. All right, all right. Can't lose any more health. Nah. Once you go under 50, you gotta, like, be a little bit under panic mode. And if you go under 30, you have to roll down to zero. Okay, there we go. Or do I reroll on the wolves? I mean, you're not losing gold. Or should I level up? No, nah, don't level. You don't level to a three-star twitch. Do I reroll? Mm-hmm. You gotta keep going. And since you're a slow reroller, you just keep going, man. You just keep going. Even through the battle. So 
I stop here or keep going? Keep going. You're rolling too slow. You have to just keep going. You're never going to get there in time. You just keep going for 3-star Twitch. You have Last Whisper now. Oh, get the Camille. Yep. 3-star Ezreal. This is so unfortunate, dude. I've never seen you a uh, low roll like this in my life. Oh, one more Twitch. Nice. We're going to stop at 30 gold. Oh, just lock. Just, oh, actually, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then you you will sell the two costs and the cost. Keep rolling to 30. Oh, wait. You need one more. Is oh. not on the board? No. Oh. I love a six. You can, and then you have perfect synergies. Oh, actually, you wouldn't. You would have... One out of you two never level up to level six? Not until you three star Twitch, man. You got Damn. and this guy's contesting you, kind of. He has like six Twitches, so actually Um, I think the play here actually since he's contesting Twitch and you only have one Twitch, we're just gonna Let's put go these Ezreal? Yeah, we're gonna put these items on Ezreal. So sell them? Uh, yeah, sell him and just put those on Ezreal. And then put Last Whisper on him. And then level and put Camille in. Yep. So the reason we level now is because you don't go to six until you three-star your one cost. Does that make sense? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since... But it's... Three we were going for a Twitch 3 stars, so you don't level until you 3 star Twitch. But we 3 star everybody, and we barely even 2 star Twitch. And I always scout to see if people are contesting me. And that board, you saw he had 6 Twitches. Like two, He has 3 on the board and 3 on his bench. And 3 as in, if it's a 2 star, that's 3 copies that's taken out the pool. So instead of just like wasting like 80 more gold to go for 3 star Twitch... We might as well just like, just switch you just, our carry. yeah, switch I carry at that point. And Ezreal is a really good carry too. So, by the way, if there's a blitz, he's pulling your Ezreal. So you need to like backline some people, like backline your Camille. Oh no, backline your Warwick because he's hella weak. So you put back what right. Do I do here? Put put Warwick in your back right, right and then put Ezreal next to him. Okay. So if so there's a get pulled. exactly if it gets if there's a blitz crank he's never gonna get pulled. Should I put sunfire on like Camille? Um. Or singed. Yeah, sunfire on Camille is is good. She's a little bit more tankier than singe, because she has a shield. Okay. And sunfire is a really good slam because she takes a long time to die, and that sunfire is just gonna keep procking over and over. It's really good on assassins too, by the way, because assassins go to the back line. Yeah, okay. Sunfire, Frozen Heart, <clears throat> just items like Sunfire that, you know, affects a group of units like that. If you put on Assassin, yeah. it just it hits their backline instantly. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you get a lot of uh, putting value. sun. Yeah, putting Sunfire on a tank though is also really good. It's better than because um, it does a lot of damage, and the longer you. That unit lives, the more damage it does. What am I looking for right tank now? Tank items, tank items. So, like... A belt, belt. That's a five cost. Okay, just I go for it. chain. Uh... <clears throat> Chain's a, chain is a really good item. Chain makes a lot of... Um, yeah, locket. You, yeah, you can make locket. Locket's pretty good. That, um, I oh, honestly wouldn't chain. slam locket because lock... Well... You are 28 health, and you can't afford to lose another round. Oh, level, by the way. I forgot. I should have told you to level. We're, we're leveling straight to 8. Wait, can you level 8? No. Uh, Just make uh 50 gold. One round. Sell the sell Singe. Jet? Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't even... I have, I didn't... Why do I have an extra... Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't sell the Ezreal. I forgot. Put in Ezreal. Holy shit. I almost trolled you so hard. Oh, yeah. With the Augment. Oh, wait, the that's augment. why I had it. That's yeah. why I had an extra Camille and an extra Sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sell those, but you need the Ezreal. Now this Ezreal is actually going to pop off. 
And then um when we go to eight, you can sell the you can sell the um well since we're not doing Twitch carry, uh Warwick and Ezra does not buff your I mean Warwick and Twitch. He doesn't they don't buff yeah. your Ezra at all. So now they're useless. So I can scrap. Yeah, we want scraps and innovators. Or we just okay, want tanks okay. at this point, because scrap only gives your whole team shield, which is still pretty good. It doesn't give him more damage. Like Chemtech buffs your Chemtechs. Like Chemtech has a lot of buffs in general. Ooh, wait. Never mind. All your champions. Yeah, Chemtech Unity is the best. Okay, now we want to keep it. So but, yeah, I would, I would pick Chemtech Unity, yeah. Because right. cause Chem keep that buff going. Yeah, because Chem have you read what Chemtech does? Yeah, it heals you and you get attack speed. You get attack speed, heals you, and damage reduction. I go to eight right here. Um, no. We'll get by the okay. blitz crank, and then still go for scrap. Yeah, we go for scrap, I guess. Well, actually, your next person is for two clockwork, so you're gonna put in that zillion. So yeah, you're not even gonna play this blitz at all. But um, you really, you kind of really want five innovators, so you kind of probably want to go nine, unless you can take somebody out, like Camille. But Camille's three star, so you're never gonna sell her. So I you're just take the second Ez out. Nah, you're gonna be playing without an augment if you do that. You know what I mean? You gotta play off your augments. Yeah. And it's a prismatic, so that's your best augment. Yeah. Like, if you're not going to play off of Augment, it has to be your worst Augment. That doesn't even, like, make you... Like, look, we just took out this... Like, we're super strong. Top guy. And yeah. you have Giant Slayer. And the point of Giant Slayer is to take those big tanks out. So, Last Whisper makes them squishier, and Giant Slayer kills them faster. That's what... La Last Whisper doesn't give you more damage. It just makes them tanks... Like, it just shreds armor. So, no tank is can, like, eat you right now. Your items that you have on your Ezreal, that's that's like classic, like, full AD items. Okay. Um, if you're that's going... good for any AD champ. Yeah. Any AD champ. It's just full AD. Um, You don't got any speed items. You don't have any healing items. You don't have any utility. It's just raw damage. So... That's, if you, that's what you want? Sometimes, yeah. You can, you want to level now for sure. You have enough gold. And then you want to just make pure tank items. Or, okay, so at this point, you never make any more offensive items. Unless you have a second okay. AD carry. So you want to do tank and utility items. So, so like we, Sunfire. you already have one Sunfire, so there's no point of making a sun, second Sunfire. I'm thinking... A giant slayer on the second Ez, maybe? Oh, you said no more damage. Well... You could put it on the he second Ezreal. Yeah, but I honestly, I would like to do Zeke's instead and throw it on Echo. Echo, Zeke's. okay. On the, once it comes back. Because Zeke's buffs up three units. And yeah. Zeke's is really good for AD carries. So it's going to buff up your second Ezreal anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't, I don't want to yeah, waste yeah. items on a two-star Ezreal. That's all. If it was a three star, I still got a locket then. So Ooh, you, if, I have a ZZ rod. ZZ rod, ZZ rod, it's a, a, it's like a like B tier defensive item, but we definitely make it defensive items here. But you can't make ZZ rod because you want Zeke's. Zeke's is yeah, like okay. really really good. And then put a, a locket. Oh, I can put a Titan on Camille. Yeah, Titans is really good. Titans give her more. She's going to do more damage and more tank, which is pretty good. And then you can honestly just throw the rod on Echo because you have scrap. So it's going to make a whole ass item. Um, And then we're pretty much trying to go nine here. So sell the Echo, sell the Blitz for 50. And then we're just going to go nine. And then for nine, yeah. you can put in Seraphine and you're going to have five in okay. And And since we have two... Two Nikos, you could just like if you get one Jace, you can instantly make him a two star. 
instantly make Jace a two star? Yeah, well, oh, because the Nikos two Nikos. Nikos. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, saving those Nikos for like four cost, five cost is the move. Gotcha. You you will only do that on your one cost if you're like super fucking desperate. You know what I mean? <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Like you're like, like your whole entire bench is full and you just need to like clear up some space yeah, or yeah, and you're like ten health or whatever. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Nico in a one cost, like because you're gonna hit like. Like we, you see how we rolled. Even though we didn't hit the three star Twitch, we still hit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we got three three stars. So like those items on Twitch would have been like really good, but this honestly is probably better. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, Ez is it's, kind of popping off. Ez is like stronger than, um, Twitch, because Twitch would die faster because he's like riding the enemies. Yeah. While, um, it rain. really matters where you place them. I feel like. Yeah, you want to place them as far as as possible. Like, Away from their units, like you here, you would put them all the way to the left. Because if you put them anywhere near their damage carry, the moment they start targeting the Twitch, is like it's over. But ranged AD champs are like super like top four. It's a real easy way to top four. So like Draven Jin. I'm just destroying people. Yeah. Exactly. I like, have not run Jin once. Yeah, these items of Jin are like the best items for Jin. Because h- him having a healing item or speed item, like it just doesn't compare to like just full eighty damage. I get a tank item here. Yeah, tank and utility. So frozen heart okay. is probably the best. Cause you can't really get tankier to be honest. Okay, then you just fucking slam uh, like Titans resolve. Redemption? Nah, Titans. Redemption. No, Redemption. Redemption this late in the game is not gonna do anything. This late in the game, um, if your units are gonna die, like there's no there's no getting tankier. You know what I mean? Like you definitely want to get tankier. Yeah, put on and you. No, put it on Camille. We don't Camille. We don't space out our items. Yeah. Double that. She gets fifty stacks now. Do I level up or wait until I find Seraphine? Uh, I have no j- one else just to put on. tap the level two times. We still have rich get richer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, not, we're we're playing greedy, man. We're pretty strong. Oh yeah, we haven't lost in what seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look at that show. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We have giant slayer last whisper. We th- we just three shot that fucking um, Dejuani. and then we're gonna kill this. That's a two star cow that's dead. This Cho'Gath is about to die. Like, that's a full stack Cho'Gath. Oh, okay. Well, close, he, close, close. I don't know if you saw the items on Malzahar, but those Cho'Gath. are nuts. No. Yeah. That Cho'Gath, he has Warmong's Anima Visage. Like, those are really... Yeah. Those are two items that Should go I perfectly move my together. Characters? Um, Should I level up just because and throw someone in? Yeah, go ahead. You you put in a um, Cam Tech... Ch- put in Trin. And then you can roll a little bit, actually. You have 16 gold. You put in me. Yeah, put in Kaisa, I guess. And put in the back line, yeah. She's, like, a little stronger. And then you can sell that um trend. But, yeah, we're looking for Seraphine or Jace. Honestly, at this point, Jace is going to be better. And then you can just two-star him. But, yeah, we're pretty strong. If we lose, we just lose, bro. It's just because we're playing, we're playing a bunch of one cost, two cost. So if we lose, it's it's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? When you run yeah. this comp, you're just trying to top four, and it's best yeah. if you can like go on a win streak like over 30, 40 health. That's when you're really good. When you have like twenty health, then you can just like it's it gets kind of scary. Yeah. Now we have five in now. Now we're strong, because the bear is so much stronger than the scarab. The bear. Um, gives you extra crit chance. Just or extra attack happening? damage, I mean. Yeah, extra attack damage and extra AP. So you can play AP carry and AD carry with the innovators. Because the bear buffs both. You want to make uh, 20 gold here. Always look for interest. Yep, so I just try to get Jace. Uh, Jace is going to be better. It's fine. You're gonna eventually hit it. We have a lot of gold for level nine. There we go. Just keep rolling. 
gonna level them up. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. You might hit another one. You might hit another one quick. Oh, use Nikos. Should I sell these guys? Just use Nikos now. We're at 19 health. Oh. Nice. Oh, I got it. Put Last Whisper on him. Now you can put items on other people because we have all of our item slot filled. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then put him on the back line. God, is good. Damn. Yeah. So now it's a first. This is a, this is called a win condition. If you get to this board, you win. Does that make sense? Yeah. So even I didn't have the bear last guy. I faced this guy either. So yeah. So. If you get a one star, Jace, he's kind of better in the front line because he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But if you have a two star Jace and you have an uh, AD item on him, him in the back line is really good. And the thing about innovators, <coughs> uh, there's no point of rolling now. You might as well. Um, I mean, actually, you can probably find someone that's better than um, your. I feel like Jace here for that speed buff. Yep, that's a good idea. You can try to find someone better than um, Twitch. Like a chem tech that's better than Twitch. Okay. And you roll down. But yeah. So we just hit our win condition pretty much. So we can roll to get better. But at this point, it's best to really like position. Because what if he's like positioning against you? You kind of want to like reposition. Okay, yeah. That. Yeah, I was going to. That Malzahar has like the best item in the game on him. He has Radiant uh, Thieves Gloves. What gives him two free Radiant uh, items. Dang. Yeah, and those Radiant I items are like shoes. disgusting. Alright, that's better than Twitch. You can keep rolling. But if we saved a Nico, we could have like two started, right. you know what I mean? You think Zach's better than Uh yeah, Zach's better. Zach's tankier. We have a plenty of like attack damage, you know what I mean? Um, put your yeah. put your biggest tanks on the outside of your front line. On the like, don't uh make sure Zach is like yeah that. yeah like that exactly. Um, because the units they they target the outside first, so they're all gonna target Camille right here, and that way Zach can like probably oh maybe twice or at least once. You know what I mean? If you just put him right in front of their carry, he just dies and he doesn't even get to ult. The only way he would get targeted if they put their carry like right in the middle. You know what I mean? It's three star show, but I'm pretty sure we still win. He lost anyways. Yeah, he's losing. Yeah. I think I've been beating both of them, so. Yeah, this is the first. You just fucking get Shroud. Chase or no, no, no. Shroud? Yeah. Shroud is the best game in the game. Mark? Best item in the game, dude. Oh. He grabbed it anyways. You grab Assassin, it'd be funny. Okay. Could you have an Echo? Honestly, you can assassin Jace, but Jace buffs your whole back line. So, I don't know. You can so do whatever. Leave him there. You literally can do it. Anyway. I mean, you can put it on Jace. I don't care. You're going to win regardless. <laughs> but, like, the way the reason Jace on your back line is so good is because in, in, in Innovators, your whole team is back line. So, he just, like, buffs your whole back line. Gives them 75% attack speed. But yeah, put him in the like the corner. Don't put him in the middle. The left corner. His his team is on the right corner. Yeah. We're gonna gotcha. keep keep him on the way. Don't put him like right in front of him. So that way he just goes to fucking town on him. And they won't target him because he's so far away. Yeah, no, look, they're dead. I think we just win here because the other guy. Oh yeah, it's, in it's over. And your clone, yeah. your shadow is a weak version of your clone. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, so he can... That was crazy. We were so low. Yeah. I mean, that's what reroll is. You're going to lose. Master's TFT over here. That was crazy. Yeah, dude. That's... This, that these games... Game. These games, once you know how to play the game, these games are so easy. You don't... Like, everybody makes so many mistakes that... um. Like you see how they you see how much spread out their items are? Yeah. Like the fifth place guy is the only guy that kinda knows how to play. The only run is that he put a bunch of items 
He has two Renatas for whatever reason, and he put a bunch of items on Swain. Swain is like not a carry. I've played three star Swain before and put a bunch of tank items, but it was tempo. Like I was winning all my early games with him. But I know that Swain sucks, so I eventually started losing. But I three starred him because the game gave me like six in a shop. Like the, like they were all Swains. And I was like, okay, I fuck it. Like I sh I shouldn't buy it, but I did and I bought it and I got three star Swain and I got third place. Like and the only reason I got third yeah, like place his, uh, his item. Yeah, his items are all over the place. It's just like he has good Kaisa items. I mean blue buff is not very good on her because her mana pool is so big that twenty an extra twenty mana is not not gonna do anything. That's why if people have like a large mana pool, like Shojin or Rage Blade is really good. Because um kind of like a bank, you invest money, you get a bunch of money back. If you put Shojin, like Shojin on Victor, it gives them way more m mana than what blue buff will give. Like blue buff gives you gotcha. twenty mana, while Shojin would give you infinite more, as long as they stay alive. Blue buff's good for people who have like less mana. Yeah, like blue, roll. like yeah, like um Malzar, which his mana pool is like sixty, and there's a mutant that's Synaptic Web, which gives him less. His it it lowers his maximum mana pool. So if you have five mutant, his mana is like twenty, and blue buff gives you twenty mana. So he just ults constantly. Yeah, so, but yeah, you just slam, really like the, yeah, you can play like this, the re you can play this AV game, by the way, this is, the reason oh, this yeah. is so good, we'll yeah, the reason this is so good is because Twitch is so strong, so is Ezreal, like, as you, as you show, you can put the items on Ezreal, but, um, early game, it's definitely, I don't, honestly, I don't know, man, I hate Ezreal, Twitch reroll, I never play it, ever. But I know how to play it. Like, so I like this because there's like four different one costs you're maxing. Oh time. yeah, yeah. You have to you have to three star them all because it makes it easier to hit your three stars. Also, it just buffs your team overall. Like one three star Ezreal isn't gonna be enough to like top four. Typically, yeah. like most likely. Not. Than... I mean, even this lobby, like, look, people had three star Cho, two star Zeri, three star like people were hitting level nine. Like these guys understand the core concepts of the game they just don't know how to play it like they've they've been read the rules but they don't know how to win that's all it is like people just spread out their items too much and like people are slamming items that make sense too like jgie um like shojin giant slayer like yeah i mean poor fist is trash dude <laughs> it's so bad but people don't understand that like um you just need a um you got to play off your team more. Like, you got to play off, like, what you hit. And, like, you need to slam items early. And whatever you slam, that's what you commit to. So once you slam IE, you're like, all right, I'm playing something that makes sense with IE. So, like, damage items. And what if you wanted to go, like, a IE? You could switch that over to, like, a Corky, right? Because he's, no. like, AP and AD. I mean, if you get JG, no. but... If you get JG IE, then yeah, it makes sense. But if you slam IE JG. or Joe Gauntlet, Gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you slam IE, you're going to lose every round until you get JG. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're still trying to save Big health. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Still trying to save health. And, like, let's say you just never get JG. Do you just go eighth? Like, you just accept the eighth? Like, you don't want to think like that. <laughs> like, you, you want to, yeah. like, at least fight for a top four like that's why that's why that's why if you slam ie first you're typically not gonna go like i say uh, typically that, because yeah, you never know it. Yeah, like you're you, risking it there yeah you're risking it. you never know like you can keep you can think about it in the back of your mind like oh yeah, shit i think like that's why i've been losing some of my comps i'm like if i don't like i base it off an like, exact build and if I don't get those items, I'm kind of just screwed. Oh yeah, no, you just you just slam uh, items that make sense early game. Like it has to make sense. Titans yeah. is good on tanks that do a lot of damage. Like if you read what it does, gives them extra attack damage or extra ability power. I mean, depends if they're AD or AP. But then also gives them extra tank value, like extra armor, mag resist. So if you throw it in like on a Rexai, Camille does a good amount of damage. Like not an insane amount of damage, but a good amount. Like, Vi is a tank that does a lot of damage. So, like, Titans on her is really good. 
Like that's just the core concept. So if you have a tank that does good amount of damage, just like slam it. Um, you definitely want to like slam a a very good item first though before you slam anything. Cause I feel like I got a lot of items that game in general. Um, it only so feels that. like that because you don't space it out, man. You 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 uh, keep the items together. You put yeah. all, and then also we got into like the last carousel. So when you go late, when you're when you top four, you typically typically go into stage six, and so you get stage five gives you a full item, stage six gives you a full item, like then you start like ramping up. That's why like early game you just slam whatever you can because you don't get a lot of items, and your team doesn't even really get good until like stage four. Like stage okay. three, you're gonna like level to six typically. I mean, if you're gonna reroll every game, then you're gonna stay at five until you get your three stars, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. I like that. Fun. Yeah, I've seen people who have three star Camille, three star Twitch, three star Ezreal, three star Singe, and three star Zillion. and like three star Warwick. Dang. Like, yeah, like they just hit infinite. This game you got unlucky. Like, this is actually an unlucky game. Really? Yeah. I mean, three star Ezreal and three star Singe and three star Camille is actually a really good combo. That's two frontliners that you three starred, and and Ezreal like holds the same items as. Which, and they're cheap three stars because they're one cost. Yeah, so even if people contest you, you can you can still hit them because there's like sixty copies or some shit like that. Like there's so many copies, but for whatever reason you weren't hitting twitches. Like I don't know why. So yeah, I was not hitting at all. And then you're like thirty health. So I was like, just at that point, <laughs> if yeah. you if you already hit these many units, like if you didn't hit any more units, you just keep rolling and then. You just hope for like a fifth or a fourth, but you did hit a good amount, and that was a good combo too because the items could just switch over to Israel so you could... yeah so oh and you had a prismatic so double trouble two Israels you just have that much more attack damage so it won't let you read what it does but <coughs> rich get richer is like not that good of an augment it's pretty like it's good. If you get like if you high roll, like like if you high roll units like you win streak, then like you're gonna go first because you're gonna hit level nine hella easy. Like the we had so much gold this game because like rich get richer. You start with hella gold and then you get hella interest. Like, but um, if you like lose streak, and then like you get a team at stage four and it's still shit, then you just go eighth. So like rich get richer is like. Richer, Richer is like that kind of like first or eighth kind of like augment. Like you're either going to go really, really good with it or like really, really bad. So definitely not. Yeah, I didn't know Innovator was so OP too. Oh yeah, Innovator is like insanely strong. If you ever, it's just, it just gives you a whole extra unit. So like you're like a level up on people. Like at level three, you get three Innovators, you have four units on the board. So, and if you pre-level to four, you have five units on the board. And everybody has has either three or four. So like, and then once you get bear, it just amplifies all your attack damage, and you have a fat ass fucking tank on the board. So, typically you want like two or three big tanks on your board to like, you know, be a tank, and one of them with like a bunch of shit, a bunch of fucking items, right? With innovators, you can have like two tanks, and one of them is the bear, and the other one is the one with like all your tank items. And then, like, you can throw in, like, a third tank if you want. Like, Singed and um, Jace is good tanks. Or Singed and, like, literally anything else. Two-star Sedge. Two-star Braum. Two-star... And the I'm saying two-star, by the way. Like, whatever you two-star. Yeah. You don't just play a one-star Braum. You don't just play a one-star anything. If you two-star a frontliner, you just play that. And then... um, And even once you... Don't, like, have the augment, um, yeah, even if they don't even have a synergy... Okay. Like you would prefer a two star that has a synergy, but yeah, um, the more you roll, the more gold you lose. So you don't want to roll a shit ton. If you you roll when you feel like you can hit some pairs, or like you're like, oh, I just need one unit. Like I just need Seraphine, and I like, I get the five bear, like the five inner bear. Then like, okay, it's okay to roll on seven. Because with at level seven, you have a small chance of getting four costs. It's like, okay, I'll roll like 10 or 20 gold and see if I hit it. 
because you're going to hit a four cost at level seven. It just probably won't be the four cost you want. But if yeah. you hit one, like you it's like, it. like yeah, you always have a small. You have a good chance of hitting at least one four cost, and a very small chance of hitting a four cost you're like we're hoping for. But the the thing with innovators is that you can play any four cost, like every single four cost in the game you can put in innovators, and it would still make sense. Like if you put in Braum, that's like okay, you got an extra tank. You just hope that you have a good backline. Like if you have a two star, Kha'Zix, you can put Kha'Zix in. Kha'Zix with these items aren't bad. I.e., he's an assassin, and then, um, the only thing is, Kha'Zix or like Aurelia. Like those, those are units that like all like, all up in the other team's face, so they get targeted a lot. So you want like a healing item. So you want to go full. You wouldn't want to go full AD because they're just gonna die after they kill like two units. But like if you put if you give them like, yeah, if you give them bloodthirster, then they're able to kill two units, heal up, kill another two units, heal up, and then they just like, eventually overwhelm them. But like since Ezreal and Jin are like in the back line, and they're like relatively safe you can just go full ad and like they just like like Jin will like start one shotting people and with this fourth shot his fourth shot is guaranteed to crit so the, think of that like double ie if you already had an ie so that's like 200 percent. and every you already know what happens after 100 percent. yeah good Jin is really good um you just you definitely want ie and then last whisper is really good because if you don't have Last Whisper, it's going to be kind of hard to hit, kill tanks. Gotcha. But you are kind of right with Giant Slayer being kind of like Last Whisper. Like, if it, <coughs> if they're a tank because they have a whole bunch of health, then yeah, Giant Slayer is good. But if they're a tank because they have Bramble, yeah, if they have Bramble, then you're not fucking hurting them. Because Bramble is anti-IE, anti-AD. Like, it gives, it gives them 70 armor. Which is a good amount, and then, um, you can't crit Bramble, so you're just gonna be tickling them, and then you hit Last Whisper, and then like they instantly die. Like it's a huge difference. That's why I usually slam Last Whisper first, just because, you know. And then what item would you put on him besides the Giant Slayer? Uh, for Ezreal, Rage Blade's pretty good. Well, I don't know. Rage Blade is good early game, definitely. Because the way Ezreal works is that if his ability hits, he gets a speed stack. So what about like a blue buff or a mm, blue buff is not that uh, good. Sojin. Sojin's not no. good. No, nah, blue buff Sojin is for so AP maybe comps. Like static shiv. Static shiv is good. Static okay. shiv is good. Static shiv is good early game, because not a lot of people have a lot of health and uh, like. I don't know how much damage it does, like 45 or some shit like that, or something around there. Since units only have like 700 health, it definitely chips like a quarter of their health down. And Ezreal is a speed AD champ. He does do a lot of good flat AD, but he also has a kit in his tool that gains attack speed. And if there's a champ that gains attack speed kind of like passively, or like they benefit on speed, then like speed items will always be good. So like Rage Blade, Ezreal is pretty good. Sivir gains attack speed. So if you give him if you give her Rage Blade, she like attack her attack speed is like through the roof. Draven. Oh, yeah, she's so good with Rage Blade. yeah. And then Draven Rage Blade is really good just because Draven actually attacks so slow without Rage Blade. Like he is so yeah. slow. Um and you because he, he doesn't have any passive with speed so like rage blade might not seem make sense until you actually play draven and you're like this dude attacks one axe a minute it's like you're not killing yeah. a lot i mean if you do these items on draven you would still pop off but it would be like kind of you know late game it just won't work just because i like rage blade i.e bloodthirster yeah Bloodthirster is really good. Hodge is really good. Hodge heals your team too. Hodge does healing and extra ability power and attack damage, I guess. So what is Hodge? Oh, it's glove and tear. Uh, oh, I, I know. Okay. Oh, you're talking about Hand of Justice. Yeah, yeah. Hand, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Sorry, I didn't. Awesome, that was a I, fun game. I didn't understand what you said. Yeah, I hope you. Win.